The Late Adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video, Cardano. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video today. Uh, you know why, you know why. Anyways, enough chit chat, let's get into the chat and so I can tell you what's actually happening. So for the new guys that's not, that have not been he here before, you see this uh, area down here, that's the panic area and I'm gonna explain you what that means. So basically, uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of lines. 1.15 was the support line, 1.31 was the resistance line. We were supposed to be in some kind of trading range there. And then of course, Bitcoin dropped and it actually pushed, uh, pushed us all the way below the 115 line. And now we are below that. And now we are getting uh, get going back up, but we are getting a resistance at 1.15 line. So basically what I said was when we start breaking the 1.50 line, you can start to get worried just like here, you get worried. If you start breaking this line over here, that uh, uh, goes di diagonally, uh, it's very important line, you can start to get worried. But reason to get panic is when you get into this area, that's why, that's why this area is called the panic area. Okay, so when we get below uh, 1.04, uh, you can start having panic and full-blown panic is below 0 0.83. Right now you can get worried, but we are not uh, quite in the panic mode yet. Just so that said, so now we're gonna see what's actually happening and what has been happening. Uh, let's pull up some uh, moving averages up here. I'm gonna show you this uh, 20 moving average that I've been talking. It's very unlikely for the price to break the moving er average. Uh, this red line in the same direction that the price uh, that uh, the moving average is going usually the way it's uh, being broken is in the opposite direction and I'm gonna show you over here I'm gonna just uh, uh, we're gonna do this on the first what I'm gonna show you it's I'm gonna show you on the small time frames maybe four hour it's nice yeah it's nice I, I can just I would just want to show you so you can stand what I'm talking about usually when the price is going up the the uh, the price breaks the moving average in the opposite direction so the moving average is going up the price breaks on the downside so when it's going down uh, uh you see it's still going down then it breaks on the upside it's going up it breaks on the downside the moving average is going down the price breaks on the upside and here's uh, the thing that's happening that usually don't happen but this uh, the price breaks it on the same in the same direction that the moving average is uh, going. But usually, usually it breaks it in the opposite opposite direction, right? Uh, so it's going up, it's breaking on downside and stuff like that. So here we can see that it got, uh, the moving average got broken in the same direction as uh, the price. And that can be a good thing because now it's easy for us to get back above it, but we still have to get above it. Uh, let's put, pull up the 10 moving average. You can see here that yesterday we broke the 10 moving average and went below all the, uh, all the, these two moving averages and went even below the uh, the this uh, support line and now we are re uh, trying to get back up again today but we are getting rejected at 1.50 line and that's actually very bearish so if this this stands up under 1.50 line uh, you can probably expect a more movement downwards and uh, not only that you can uh, maybe even expect all the right line but the best case scenario would be just getting uh, and finding support uh, down here again at uh, what's that 1.1 that that's the best case scenario if it cannot break the 1.15 uh, 15 line so uh, this panic area actually uh, is corresponding well with the 50 moving average that's over here so uh, maybe tomorrow uh, the 50 moving average will move exactly where these uh, supports are down here so 50 moving average and supports tomorrow will be at uh, 0, 1.03. If it starts falling below that uh, that target, then yeah, you can start getting panic because what happens then is because all the way up we had had these higher highs. Even here we had higher highs. That's very bullish, and lows have been higher lows all the way. So even this low, if it this stands like this, it's higher low. So we are still very bullish, although we are in some kind of trading range. But if this uh, price goes below this line and it goes down here, what you get is uh, you get a higher, higher, sorry, lower low, and that's uh, a bearish uh, indicator. So that would be bad. That would be bad, of course. Uh, so let's look a little bit of what's happening here on the small time frames. Just see if we can actually manage to get up. This is on the four on the four hourly. Uh, 
on the four hourly let's move uh, remove and you can see here the 200 moving average that's the one here we broke on the four hourly the 200 moving average and trying to get back above it again we got back above 200 moving, uh, moving average but the 10 moving average is uh, getting uh, giving us resistance the best case scenario on the four hourly i would say it's uh holding uh above getting above this uh, blue line the 100 moving average because on the four hourly usually they are uh uh, they are pretty important they are pretty important but overall we are not uh this isn't finished yet this might be some kind of a uh, bottom uh for the bitcoin or something like that. bitcoin is up like 1.6 percent today so it is a little bit up uh but the dump doesn't mean it's actually finished and if it's not finished it might continue further down so we are actually nowhere right now uh we it looks like here on the MACD on the four hourly maybe we won't start getting the bullish cross but we still don't have the cross yet we we still have we don't have anything yet uh, to say the least we don't have anything yet so right now we how are you gonna say it? We gotta get above 150 line again. Uh, one way or other, you gotta get above and close above 150 line on the daily. If we do that, we bullish. If we don't do that, I mean, nothing else can actually help you, uh, because 150 line is actually a very important support. Getting above the 20 moving average, very important. Uh, but you can start if you wanna watch it. You can watch it on the one hourly and see how this is gonna play out. You can see here that we are above the uh, uh, 10 and 20 moving average on the one hourly. So these are small time frames. They, they don't actually matter but uh, you want to get above this level over here in the next five minutes and then uh, you want to get above the uh, 116 line the 50 moving average and so forth so forth and uh, keep climbing up so I want to keep on watching what's actually happening with uh, uh, with Cardano on uh, the daily frame just pop up uh, the moving averages 10 20 50 100 200 and see if it can climb on the one hourly chart uh, on the way up uh, right now on the way down it was getting the resistance at 10 and 50 moving average so right now i want to see if it's actually gonna get resistance at 1.16 line over here at 50 moving average if it starts doing something like okay i'm gonna if it starts doing something like it while the moving average is going down uh, probability is it's gonna go even further uh, further down uh but yeah 50 moving average if it manage to get go 50 moving average you want to get above the 100 moving average and so forth and keep on climbing up that way uh, uh but right now however you turn around it we are uh, we are not in panic mode but we are like worried you know this can go further down so keep that in mind and uh the thing to watch for actually today is if this is gonna close above the 1.15 line again again we come to the conclusion that 1.15 line is alpha and omega for the cardano and that's the line to actually break and uh, stay above thanks for watching guys uh, like the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see tomorrow's cardano video and notification no, that should bang. Uh, take care also write down something in comments i like reading comments yeah it's uh, it's fun to do when I'm on the toilet and don't have anything better to do. Thanks guys. Cheers. See you around.